Hey everybody, welcome back to the Redneck Country Podcast. My name is Clayton, I'm here again with Connor, and if you guys didn't know that, you're obviously not subscribed, so go down and hit that subscribe button. Like now. Like ASAP. Do it now. So to kick off this podcast, um, Connor has got some interesting news over there. Well, apparently there's an active volcano in Antarctica uh, on this mountain called Mount Erebus. Yeah, apparently it's like spewing out like gold dust in a day. It comes like it's worth up to $6,000. Mount Rebus is estimated to release roughly 80 grams of gold. 80 grams of gold daily worth up about $6,000, according to IFL Science. We should take a trip down to Antarctica. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Just like go parachute into an active volcano. I need some gold, man. Like, I need some gold. It says that gold dust from Mount Erebus can travel far and wide with researchers finding traces of gold in the air up to 621 miles from the volcano. So I guess you wouldn't even have to parachute to the volcano. We'll put a picture we'll put a picture of what we're talking about on the screen for you guys. But yeah, that's pretty nuts. People actually go to Antarctica, right? Like they got people living there or what? I don't know. I don't know if there's actually people living there or anything. I think there there might be some scientists or some people like that there, but I don't think there's actually anybody actually living there. Yeah, I heard one time that apparently like in the winter time you can't go there. It's just you can't go there because it's too cold. Is that true? I don't know. They don't even have a government, do they? It's kind of kind of poor at least to have a government if you don't have anybody there but apparently apparently Antarctica used to be a lot different I mean I think scientists they found like like fossils of different animals and stuff and even plants like they found like tropical plants and stuff down there I heard I heard something about that too like they had like palm trees or something down there like they said they they used to that's weird that's crazy I mean, it's, it's like a complete sheet of ice. All right, guys. And as always, we got our very trusted reporter down in Antarctica right now to check out the situation live. His name is Jimbo, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring him in right now. Welcome back out to live news with Jimbo. I am currently live in Antarctica, standing right in front of Mount Rebus that is currently an active volcano that is shooting out gold. Now, I don't know all the facts yet, but I can most assuredly guarantee that what I say is 50% right. Uh, Jimbo, that's not too reassuring. <laughs> well, what I always say is at least it ain't 0% right. You want to hear the rest of my news report about the volcano shooting out gold? Sure. What do you know, Jimbo? Well, what I know now is that apparently there's this mountain in Antarctica called Mount Erebus, the mountain I'm currently standing in front of. Uh, and I was just talking to a local Eskimo, and uh, he was saying that uh, uh, the president of the USA and the president of Antarctica are uh, apparently sending choppers with Marines out here to this active volcano to apparently collect the gold. Now, they say they're going to put the gold in a museum, but uh, personally, me and the Eskimo think that they're just going to pocket the money. Uh, Jimbo, you sure all that's accurate? Hey, I report what I hear. But anyway, that is that should sum up my news report. Thank you for tuning in to Live News with Jimbo. All right, guys. That's enough information for now. I'd say let's take let's let's take a break. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Are you someone who likes art and painting and all that stuff? 
Not sure why you'd be watching this channel if you like that, but hey, if you are, you should go over and check out our channel sponsor, RTB Art. Yes, do that. I have uh, a piece of RTB Art's uh, artwork right here behind me. She wrote Redneck Country Podcast. And as you can see, it's very nice. And, and if you're someone who likes this kind of stuff, I don't know what the lighting, if you can see it, but it's like it has the American flag and the Redneck Country Podcast. Proudly made in the USA. Link in the description below. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, we should have probably had a script wrote out for that. I go all over the place. So I got some interesting facts about the, the pyramids here. Did you know that they... Uh, they have found 138 pyramids in Egypt. I did not know that. That's interesting. The three most famous ones are in some place called Giza. And they stand at like 480 feet tall. You think about them building that back then? That's nuts. How do you do this? The stones in building these pyramids they weighed from two to 70 tons. One ton is like 2,000 pounds, ain't it? So, do the math here, folks. That's a lot of weight. The stones that they used to build them came from like 10 miles away. And uh, apparently they found a, a dried up river that came from, it ran from where they found the stones to the pyramids. So they think that they might just cut these stones out and then they built some kind of floating device and then just float them down the river yeah i mean the river would definitely be the best option if it's there i mean it's definitely easier to float something than drag it which would make a lot of sense because moving something that big would be pretty hard to do they're lifting these things about 480 feet in the air <laughs> i have no idea how they would do something like that i mean I think they had used dinosaurs maybe i mean I, that's crazy think about that like 480 feet in the air how do you lift that kind of weight up there how do you lift 8,000 pounds in the air 480 foot in the air that is crazy how do these people do this oh uh, you think they use some kind of pulley system or did they have those back then? I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> I mean, it's really the only way they could have. I wonder how many people died while they were building that. I mean, just by falling off the top, you'd, you'd be dead. No kidding. That's, ay ay ay. That's impressive. So you know the the Orion constellation, the Orion belt. It's like three stars in a row. And apparently the three the three pyramids of Giza, they align they directly line with those three stars. I didn't know that. That's that's neat. Like how do you do that? You know they did it on purpose probably didn't I crazy to think about what they did. People would did then. Um, I got some did you know facts written down here that I think you might, you guys might find interesting. So, did you know the world's longest word has a hundred over a hundred eighty nine thousand letters? I mean, a hundred eighty nine thousand letters. But I mean, and if you don't believe me, you can go to Babel dot com and. Mm, Look it up, and I'm sure, I mean, it's there. That's where I found it. So, don't believe me? Go look it up. Um, I also have another one here. It's called... Did you know outer space is just an hour's drive? If you... If you drive your car straight up. If you drive your car... If you drive your car straight up. Outer space is only an hour away. We're going to take another break and we'll be right back. One, two, 
是一封。All right, I think we're gonna tell some jokes now. Listen up. So, you can't believe everything you hear, but you can repeat it. Uh, all right, we got another one here. Two hunters are out in the woods. When one collapses, he's not breathing, and his eyes are glazed. The other guy whoops out his cell phone and dials 911. I think my friend is dead, he yells. What can I do? The operator says, calm down. First, let's make sure he is dead. There's a silence, then a gunshot. Back on the phone, the guy says, okay, now what? Funny thing about that one right there is one of my, one of my first videos on this channel, I actually reenacted that joke. Yeah, it's there. What's the title of that video called? Is he dead or something? I got an update on what happened to Morgan Wallen here. Yeah, I mean, we're giving you all the updates here, I mean. All right, so he, um, he just posted this. Okay, it says, I didn't feel right publicly checking in until I made amends with some folks. I touched base with the Nashville law enforcement, my family, the good people at Chiefs. I'm not proud of my behavior, and I accept responsibility. I kept looking on his Instagram and on his Facebook to see when he's going to post. He also posted, I have the utmost respect for law officers working every day to keep us all safe. Regarding my tour, there will be no change. So if you guys have tickets to any Morgan Wallen concerts, you're fine there. It's not going to be affected. Yeah, I know some people are worried about it because last year he had his voice problem that he had to cancel the show in like the same town at the same like arena. He had to cancel the show because of uh, his voice. And people were worried about it now because they thought he might have to cancel it again because he got arrested. But apparently not. He's going to be there. Hardy just released a song yesterday. It was about 10.30 at night. and I, I just noticed that he was going to post it at like 11 o'clock. So I was like, hey, why not wait up uh, another half hour? And I listened to it and it was, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I seen that actually. <laughs> it was Hardy. I, lis I actually listened to it too, a little bit of it. And it really wasn't my taste of music. Honestly, it was kind of, I was kind of surprised, honestly. It was, it was a straight up hip hop song. I looked up a little bit of information about it, and apparently it's actually a, a cover off of somebody else. But he, he changed the, the lyrics to kind of fit his own life. And I think he, he kind of, he did a pretty good job at doing that, at rewriting the song. And actually still making it flow together and sound good. He writes songs and stuff like that, don't he? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be wrapping up this podcast. And we'll send you on your way with a Bible verse. I got one written down right here. And it is First uh, Thessalonians 5.17. Pray without ceasing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the redneck country podcast if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're not and we'll see you next time yep thanks for tuning in